the allegations show timelines of contributions to the family uh, family foundation and decisions made by Mrs. Clinton favorable to the contributor or contributions to the Family Foundation and sky-high $500,000 a speech, unheard of in, in, in this business, mm -hmm. uh, speaking fees to her husband or contributions to the Family Foundation and two years later sky-high fee, uh, speaking fees to Mrs. Clinton. Look, the, the essence of bribery is the quid pro quo. You do something for me or in my behalf and I exercise my official governmental powers in favor of you. That's what Senator Menendez was indicted for. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, by the way, I want to apologize for the f previous segment, the technical difficulties we had. Those of you uh, who were watching only heard the last minute or two of my, what I have to say was brilliant uh, commentary. So uh, hopefully we could uh, have time to do that again because I think it's stuff that needs to be heard, but unfortunately it was not. Okay, now we move on to James Toronto, columnist, Wall Street Journal, uh, editor of OpinionJournal.com. James, welcome back, sir. Um, this, this whole book, I, I, are we setting ourselves up or are the Republicans setting themselves up for a huge disappointment here? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen the book yet. Uh, I, uh, I only know what I read about at the New York Times, uh, one of which I found rather amusing. It was a, uh, somebody from Canada who had an interest in the Keystone XL pipeline who had made a big donation to the uh, Clinton Foundation. Now, of course, the, Clint the Keystone XL pipeline is still uh, delayed and I suspect is never going to get through this administration, not necessarily because Mrs. Clinton wouldn't have passed it when she was Secretary of State, but because uh, uh, President Obama has his environmental supporters to think, uh, to think of, who, of course, Mrs. Clinton, as she's running for president, has to think of as well. Well, of course, you know, a quid pro quo, as J Judge Napolitano talked about, is very hard to... Uh very hard to prove, and I, 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 I couldn't imagine, although who knows, that uh, the Clintons would be so careless, uh, although they certainly have been careless in the past, especially Bill, to, to leave that kind of trail. Now, uh, they might be able to tie Bill's speaking engagements uh, to governments, you know, after they made a donation. Who the heck knows? But uh, time will tell. What I, what I think Republicans should be focusing on when it comes to Hillary is just the fact, I mean, you know, how could a Secretary of State, I know she cut a deal with Obama, but I'm, I read a piece that said it's unconstitutional. How could a Secretary of State run a foundation that has her name on it, <laughs> that takes contributions from foreign governments while she's Secretary of State? Well, I think the answer is that while she was Secretary of State, it didn't have her name on it. She was not officially a uh, an officer of the foundation. Uh, it was uh, Bill Clinton's foundation. And, uh, you know, I think they probably did this by the book, but that just shows that the book is insufficient to account for all possible manners of corruption. And it's really quite uh, astonishing that we have Mrs. Clinton out there talking about, you know, we need tough campaign finance reform. We need to reverse Citizens United. By the way, Citizens United, a, uh, a uh, ruling that upheld the right of a nonprofit organization to uh, make and distribute a film called Hillary the Movie, critical of Mrs. Clinton. That's the, the aspect of this that I don't think gets enough attention. Mrs. Clinton actually wants to censor uh, criticism of her, uh, and yet she is engaging in, or, or through her family, is engaging in these, uh, these just uh, staggering acts of buckraking. Yeah, all right. Uh, let, you, you wrote a great piece about the uh, shooting war, or the uh, cynical dispute over credit for Mrs. Clinton's video. Talk about that. Uh, yes, this was, uh, okay, so uh, there was a uh, report in the New York Times that talked about how it was sort of a puff piece about how Mrs. Clinton had uh, so cleverly, uh, I, she, she's shown creative daring by entrusting an outside team to do this video. People who used to work for the uh, Obama campaign uh, rather than uh, in the past when she's relied on her close circle. Okay, it turns out there was a piece in Reuters two days earlier which basically showed that this that that part of it was a uh, campaign finance shell game that the Clinton uh, campaign was disputing whether this outside firm consisting of Obama people deserved credit for it and the reason for the dispute is that if the outside firm did the work under campaign finance law they have to be paid at market rates 
and it has to be disclosed to the FEC. If it's an inside job, then uh, it's uh, it's it's all done. Uh, you know, then they can presumably get around those requirements and uh, and uh, volunteer their uh, their services, as it were. Is there so, anything upstanding about this person? Well, I, uh, you know, I I. I can't, uh, I can't uh, answer that for sure. I guess you can't prove a negative. Uh, I would like to make one other Yeah, thir- we got 30 stuff. seconds, though, James. Okay, Go ahead. This, this is something that I learned from Peter Schweitzer, the author of this new yeah. book, from one of his earlier books about Whitewater. You remember the land sure. deal, the scandal sure. that nobody understood? Well, it turns out one thing that was scandalous about that was what was legal about it, which is the way they would sell land to investors was on what's called a contract to deed arrangement where the investors would lose all of their equity if they missed a single right, payment. Right, so they might be they might be uh, exploiting uh, flaws in the laws. I, I, that, that's a good, great point. James, as always, great to talk to you. Larry Kudlow's next, folks. Don't go away.